Hello and welcome to another episode of Radio Rambles. Now in this episode, I would like to talk more about some of the points that I've raised when you're starting out or want to refresh your skills with that in amateur radio. And I want to talk today about listening to other stations on the air without the need for any kit whatsoever. So if you refer back to one of my early videos about uh, tips that I found useful when passing my uh, or studying for my license, my foundation license, one of the points was to take time just to listen, uh, listen to the airwaves, listen to other stations, listen to the people on there and how they conduct themselves and the rhythm that the conversations take. Now, I appreciate at this point you probably don't have a radio of your own. But that's not a problem because we're going to look at something called Web SDR. Now, Web SDR is a browser based piece of software that allows us to hook into real radios all around the country, even all around the world. Um, but I found some really good ones in the UK. And we're going to look at one in particular. This one we're seeing on screen now. It's actually an underground bunker. OK, I work in a bunker, by the way. I teach during the day in a bunker just outside Salisbury. I teach computing, computer science and 3D design and 3D printing. But nothing as is cool as this bunker up north called Hack Green, the Hack Green nuclear bunker. Now, it's a museum um, by day. But it also has a little offshoot where it has aerials and it's main, uh, it has a radio room maintained by volunteers. And what they've done, they've opened up their radio uh, to the web so you can actually dial in and listen to them. And all you need is an Internet connection. And if you go to the, uh, the, uh, the web address shown here, you, it will take you straight there. So hackgreensdr.org colon 8902. And there's a little bit of text explaining, explaining about the place and what it does. But the important thing here, further down, is what we call the waterfall. OK, so those not familiar with waterfalls, this is like a visual representation of the radio spectrum in real time uh, at this current moment. OK, and you can see the, the faint signals here, but you can also see some big, bold signals. And what they are, they are uh, conversations that are happening right now. And we can move our little marker <coughs> to listen in on those so we can home in on. We'll go for this really strong signal here. OK, 145450. And uh, yeah, we've got settings uh, available to us. We can select our band, 70 centimetres, two metres. I found when I was starting out and didn't really know much about amateur radio, I, found, I soon discovered that two metres is the band um, on here if you wanted to listen in on, uh, on, on people just chatting away. And I really like it because it's a nice little window into a world that... Um, you don't necessarily have exposure to. So it's it's nice listening into people's conversations, just learning about their lives. I've, I've listened in on some really interesting conversations. I've even written to a few to give them a signal report to say, this is what I was uh, doing on, on Hack Green's Web SDR. Um, and we managed to I managed to find their address through uh, various websites where you can look up call signs. So we're on the two meter band now. We've moved our marker to um, the strong signal here. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to unmute it and we're going to listen to what's being said for a moment. So here we go. So you can actually zoom in. You can actually zoom in and you can st start to fine tune, fine tune things. So you can actually start making these little tweaks to get the most out of 
the signal that we're receiving now. It's really nice. So as you can see, this is a really strong signal coming through. Yeah, and we know that because it's it's sh it's shining like a beacon in the waterfall. There are others. We can move over to the other one. Let's move over to this one here. So it's a weaker signal because it's not showing up as bright, but it's still quite uh, quite clear, isn't it? It's quite a strong signal. We'll do a few tweaks. Zoom in. Do a few tweaks. So there you go. This is Web SDR. It allows you to tune um, and scan the frequencies uh, borrowing someone else's uh, uh, antenna. Uh, I'm just going to mute it for a minute. Uh, and this one in particular um, is up north from where I am um, at a place called Hat Green Nuclear Bunker, which I think is awesome in itself, really. But there are Web SDRs devoted to uh, number stations, for example, if you wanted to research or learn more about number stations and, and hear them, because uh, number stations are still being broadcast to this day. Now, that is interesting. And you can find the Web SDR for number stations by a quick Google search. And there are other, there's many, many, many more Web, web SDRs out there. Some for uh, to tune into satellites and data packets, others uh, like we're here, uh, like we're seeing here, to tune in to uh, uh, the two meter band so we can hear people chatting away. So, yeah, you don't need kit to start listening. And I warn you now, it is quite addictive. It is quite addictive and quite comforting as well, in, in a way. Um, I really like doing this now. And I used to, I still, I love it. Used to love it way back when as well. And um, yeah, it's something that's, um, I get a lot of enjoyment out of. It's a lot of fun. But anyway, I hope you take the time to um, enjoy uh, the, the amateur radio hobby. And uh, I hope you enjoy exploring the exciting world of Web SDR. Okay, now, until next time, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>